only one presence and one power within me and throughout the universe. God, the good, omnipotent. God is all, both invisible and visible. One presence, one mind, one power is all. This one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. I am an individualized expression of God, and I am ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. Beginning of July 2021, God bless you all. And yes, we're gonna say happy 4th of July to our happy, congregation, happy our July community, to our YouTube community. Yes. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> As we begin a study of Spiritual understanding represented by Thomas, Michelle, one of the 12 yes. disciples of Jesus. Often, and often known as Doubting Thomas, which we'll get into more of later as we move along. Yes. All right, good. Again, our three points as we begin under the heading of what do we need to understand? Michelle, what do we need to understand about Thomas? What do we need to understand about understanding? Mm -hmm. And I have a note here. Are we talking uh, spirit, spirit, mind, and body? Or are we talking mind, body, and spirit? Mm -hmm. And so our three points will be point number one. What is spiritual understanding? Point number two. What is sense-focused understanding? Mm -hmm. And then finally, something called trial and error, or what is uh, intellectual understanding. So those are our three points for today. Mm -hmm. uh, but Michelle, I understand you have a, another scripture. I started out with the reading from John, from the Gospels, and I quoted a scripture. And Michelle has, I think it's the scripture before. Yes. So it kind of leads us into the story. And she's going to lead into the microphone <laughs> right now. So we're talking about Thomas, the disciple, who, as I mentioned, is the, considered the doubting Thomas. And these are the scriptures from John, the, 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 from John chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. So this is the entire story. Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. So a week later, the disciples were in the house and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Stop doubting and believe. Thank you, Michelle, mm -hmm. for the, the rest of the, the story. Rest of the, story. Yes. the complete reading. are prayer. 